Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing the single shadows tag started by my very good friend Cassie aka a makeup journey on Instagram. You should definitely follow her by the way. She is putting out consistent really really great content and I absolutely adore her. We talk literally all the time every day and I'm really glad I met her. But anyway she put together these 10 questions that hit on a variety of topics within our indie single shadow collection. She did a post on Instagram I'm going to do a reel too so I will link both of those as well as her account in the description and I'll also put text version of all the questions I would love to see you join in on this tag whether it's on Instagram YouTube if you have a channel or even just answering them for yourself in your own collection it's a really fun exercise to do not gonna lie it was kind of challenging at times I did text Cassie at one point and say how dare you anyway let's go ahead and start so the first and most difficult question was your favorite single shadow obviously this was going to be one of the shadows from my collaboration with Shine by SD. I mean, what are you talking about? It was really hard for me to narrow down to just one, but I thought, you know what, for the purpose of this video, I'm gonna say Ice Blink is my favorite and let me elaborate on why. So I've told the origin story of Ice Blink so many times, you guys are probably tired of hearing it, but just in case you're new, this started off as a regular orange iridescent eyeshadow. I wanted to make it weird. So I asked the owner of Shine by SC if we could add in some sparkles and contrast to it on the opposite side of the color wheel. So let me swatch it out. Just so you know, I did kind of mess mine up. I tried to combine my sample with my full size one because I had hit pan on my full size and it was making me depressed. So mine's kind of messed up. Evidently I was not supposed to do that, but <laughs> I do have a new one coming. So just don't rely on the swatch 100%. I have like 10 million swatches and eye looks of it between my YouTube and my Instagram but I'm gonna swatch what I have here. I think it will show you what it looks like, but the texture might be a little bit off and it might not be fully mixed. So let me swatch it. Let me do a little more. So here, I don't know if you'll be able to see on camera, but the texture is a little bit off, but I think it does show how it just has like this insanely sparkly, like almost crushed diamond effect. Those of you who have followed me for a while know that I am such an iridescent eyeshadow girly and I absolutely love them. I love combining them with different mattes. I love mixing and matching them and using them for all different purposes. So I just wanted to create an iridescent that is like something totally different than what I've seen before. And I love all the iridescents in my collab, but I just think this one is the most like show-stopping, unique, because I just feel like it's really offering something that I have not seen before in any iridescent eyeshadow. And this literally, like, you can put this over literally anything and it will look amazing. Like, and I've seen so much love for this shade from neutral lovers, from color lovers, from people who are not super into the indie makeup world to iridescent eyeshadow sluts like me. Like, it is just such a perfect eyeshadow literally looks like crushed diamonds. I'm going to fully pan this and then another and then I'll probably get another because I use this constantly. I love each and every one of my collab shadows at this very moment. I do think this is a favorite. It also seems to be a fan favorite based on the sales. It is the number one bestseller and it sells out really quickly almost every time we restock. Next up, this is the eyeshadow that was your favorite before it got replaced. Some of you may be able to recognize this right away. It is La Lune from Terra Moons. I still absolutely love this eyeshadow so much, but unfortunately it has been dethroned and replaced by my collab shadows. But I still, as you can see, I have gotten so much use out of it and I still do continue to use it. This is like a blackened teal base and it shifts from like a peachy pink to gold to green. And it's not super sparkly or textured, but something about the way it translates on the eyes makes it look so dimensional. And I'm not a huge fan of like really deep eyeshadows. I prefer something that's a little bit lighter and more sheer. But I just think something about this is so approachable and while the base, as you can see, is like very deep teal that primary shift of the like peachy pink rose gold is so light and it makes it a lot more approachable i just absolutely love the way this looks whenever i wear it on my eyes and it's just a really fun one to pair with different things it also works as a one and done because the way the formula is it it does sheer out easily at the edges this is still one of my all-time favorite eyeshadows and i still use it a lot 
But like I said, it has been dethroned by my collab shades. Okay, next is a favorite one and done shade. And this is Tomback from Glam Shop. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. So this is like a minky cool tone brown. When you apply it on your eyes, it almost reads as like a muted bronze. I don't really talk about this for whatever reason, but I wear it all the time. It's such an easy shade for me to go back to because it doesn't like interfere with anything. Like it goes with like any look, but it is so sparkly and dimensional and beautiful. And it's not necessarily like super shifty. You can see a shift here, but I would say on the eyes, it's not super apparent. It's more so just this like insanely dimensional and sparkly yet approachable eyeshadow. I really, really love this formula. Unfortunately, Glam Shop has been like super expensive to ship to the US. It's like $50 to ship. So I wouldn't recommend purchasing from them if you live in the US. If I know of a, if I find a dupe to this, I will let you guys know. But I mean, if you have like a minky, bronzy, sparkly eyeshadow, I would definitely encourage you to use it as a one and done look. It just never fails. Okay, so the next one is an eyeshadow that you think is underrated. And I chose Atomic Division from Terra Moons. This one I didn't fully appreciate at first. I didn't realize how special it is. I would say it reads as almost like a gray, but then when you swatch it, it has like a spicy orange shift from straight on. And then it shifts to like green and blue. And up close, let me see if I can, I don't know if this is going to pick up on camera, but it has these like hot orange, there you can kind of see here, has these hot orange sparkles throughout it. And the overall effect is just so cool. It's like a, I would say it's in spicy neutral territory, but it is very high impact. It can be sheared out or applied like super opaque like this which is something that I absolutely love in an eyeshadow. This actually kind of reminds me of a more potent version of the shade I just showed you from Glam Shop. Let me swatch them side by side. So they do have something a little bit similar about them. They both kind of have that like green shift and then a warmer shift from straight on almost. As you can see, I have a type. But I think it's a great one for whether you love color or neutrals. I think it's just such a good one to try. Okay. The next one is a single shadow not worth the hype. Don't cancel me, but I do think... I just chose Rosette from Cleona, but I think any of the jeweled multichromes from Cleona are not worth the hype. And that's not to say there's anything wrong with them. Absolutely beautiful and so shifty. But I just think these like jeweled multichromes in general, they don't compare to some of these like newer, more textured and nuanced formulations that we see. I'm sorry for this hideous swatch. So Rosette is like an indigo that shifts to purple, pink, and like orange and gold. First of all, this is something that there is a dupe of from multiple different brands. Also, the Cleona jeweled multichrome formula it creases so badly on me and I never get creasing but my eyelids just absolutely devour them and they last only like an hour. So in my personal opinion, this formula is not worth the hype. The next one is a single shadow that best represents your favorite brand. And I'm sorry, Cassie, I can't choose. I can't choose a favorite brand, how dare you? I have two. I have <laughs> my two favorite brands by far are Terra Moons and Shine by SD. I can't choose between them, so we're gonna do both. So I'm going to explain to you why I think each shadow is a good representation of each brand and then I'll kind of swatch them out. So let's start with this one. This is actually a more recent release from Terra Moons. It's called Milky Way. So this is like a charcoal base that has very spicy like reddish orange sparkles that shift to gold and green. You can kind of see here. And the reason why I chose this shade is because it's just like... It's kind of weird and unexpected in the best way. And that's what all my favorite shades from Terra Moons have in common. I think just the way Terra Moons comes up with these super unique and unexpected combinations for shades is something that I really adore about the brand. I know they have some like generic types of shades. Like they have their own black-based multi-chromes and 
even the Cosmos is something you see in a lot of different brands. But, like, when they come out with these shades that are just, like, very clearly, like, custom blends that they came out with, I absolutely love them. In this, I believe they said this was the best seller from their most recent release, and I totally understand why. So, while I'm not someone who loves super deep eyeshadow, I have used this quite a bit. What I usually do is I will use this like on the outer half of my eye and then I'll use a lighter eyeshadow on the inner half and it just looks freaking incredible every single time. I love the spicy orange sparkle. You guys know I live for a spicy orange moment so this has my heart. And then for Shine by SD I chose Glam Rush which is definitely a cult favorite and I'll tell you two reasons why I chose this. The first is because Shine by SD has so many beautiful purple eyeshadows like they just excel at making purple eyeshadows. And the next is I think this is just such a good representation of the the formulas I like best from them. They do have a ton of different formulas to be honest with you. So this is a bit of a drier shade with a smaller particle size but it is so high impact and shifty. This has a purple base and it shifts from pink to gold to green to teal. And it just literally looks like magical unicorn dragon scales. Like, this is the best version of this purple shade that I know of. And I don't think any brand can do it better. They have so many beautiful purples like Flirtatious, Glam Rush, Temperature Rising, Reserve Number 5. Just so many. But I think this one is just the most iconic. And as you can see, I have gotten a ton of use out of this shade. But yeah, I think this is a great representation of the brand. I would definitely, if you're trying the brand for the first time, I think I would recommend you add this to your cart if you're not sure. Next category is a single shadow that you grew to like. And I would say I actually grew to love this eyeshadow. This is Enceladus from Terra Moons. It's from their most recent release. If you watched my video, you probably heard me like be not so sure about this. Sagey teal multi-chrome. I don't really see too many shifts to be honest with. It's pretty. I see a bluish purple shift here but again I don't know that I would consider this a multi-chrome because I was like mm, I don't know if this is a multi-chrome. I didn't get the full chance to really appreciate the shade and I've since worn it on my eyes like probably five or six times and I freaking love it. It's so beautiful. Let me swatch it so you can see what I mean. So I don't think this swatch is going to tell the full story. You actually can see some of the shifts. So it goes from like this gold to a greenish teal and then I see like almost a silvery purple. I still stand by what I said. It's not the most shifty shade but I don't think that it's necessarily like a drawback. What I love about this is the formula. It is so so shiny and sparkly. And let me see if I can show you up close so many different flecks of color in here some of them are like a gold and some are like a almost like spicy purple such a versatile and beautiful eyeshadow I use it two ways one I like to do it as like a wash all over my eye and it looks so beautiful and it also works as a topper shade if you pick this up with like a flimsy toothy brush and then apply it over something else it shears out beautifully and you just get those like dimensional sparkly shifty and something I will say is what I've learned from doing my own collab like the more you add to an eyeshadow like the more different particles and stuff like that the less visible the shifts are going to be because obviously like there are different things catching the light but I really really love this it's a great spicy neutral I think it's very approachable like if you're new to indie makeup you're used to like simple neutral looks I think you would really really enjoy this I also think it could pair well with different colors yeah I think I was a little critical of this at first but once I've had a chance to play with it and once I've had a chance to use it on my eyes and test it out I absolutely adore it and it's quickly becoming one of my absolute favorites from Terra Moons don't come for me the next category is an eyeshadow you would give to your worst enemy and this is and this is Dione from Terra Moons. Hear me out. This is a pretty eyeshadow. I'm not denying that. But would you expect this to stain you hot pink based on looking at it? No. 
So I would simply give this to my worst enemy and they would apply it thinking it's just a simple periwinkle purple eyeshadow and they would be left with this super intense, I don't even want to do it on my hand, let me do it on my wrist. Hot pink stain. So here's what it looks like. It's pretty. It's pretty, I'm not gonna lie. But let me show you what it looks like when I wipe it off. But I know I don't care about staining personally, but I was shocked when I saw this. I'm like, why is it hot pink? So my, like I said, my worst enemy would not see this coming and they would apply the eyeshadow and they would be shocked and alarmed to find this stain. And you know, they would probably deserve it. So that's why I would choose that. Nothing necessarily wrong with the eyeshadow. I'm just petty. So the next category is an eyeshadow you would pay double the price for. And this is Palladium from Terra Moons. This is one of the regular shimmers and honestly I would say this applies to any of the ones that are in this formula. So uh, Caseum, someone tell me the right way to say this, Caseum? Oh my god. Anyway, Caseum, Rubidium, or Palladium all would have this. Caseum, Rubidium, or Palladium I would pay double the price for because I think they're so special. It is so beautiful and sparkly and I don't really wear it like full opacity like this. I tend to more sheer it out and apply it as with like a fluffier brush, but it is just such a beautiful formula. I love it so much. And this is one of their cheapest ranges of bright. This is one of their cheapest eyeshadows. I want to say they, they used to be $6. I think they raised the price to seven. So you know what? Soon we may be paying double with inflation, you know. I cannot recommend this formula enough and I'm pretty sure I talk about it in like every video. It's so delicious and sparkly and it feels so elevated. Like I don't understand why this is so cheap. It is unlike anything else I've tried. And I like that it doesn't feel too like thick or chunky. It's very thin. But this is very similar to the rose gold 005 shade in the pat mcgrath if that means anything to you it's that type of formula but it's in a single shadow for like six or seven dollars and yeah i would definitely pay double the price like if they came out with more colors and they were like they're actually going to be twelve dollars i would without a doubt pick it up when my no buy is over okay last one this is the eyeshadow that's most you and i chose verdigree for my collab with shine by sd and the reason why I chose this is because it's an eyeshadow that I have been dreaming up forever. So this is inspired by the shade Break of Dawn from Shine by SC. And I have always thought to myself, I wish there was a version of Break of Dawn that had like a sage green base or flip to it. So I asked the owner of Shine by SC if it was possible to even come up with something like that. And she whipped this up no problem. And it was literally everything I could possibly hope for. So let me swatch this for you. It shifts from like almost a rose gold to green to teal. And I love that it's like so like almost unassuming and muted from straight on. But then when you, once you get from like any angle, it's so vibrant. And this is like completely my style. Like it's very, very neutral adjacent and approachable, but also has that strong shift. It can be applied in an opaque layer or sheared out and it's not like it's not textured because I wanted all the eyeshadows in my collab to be very approachable and easy to use but it does have dimension and sparkle to it especially if you go out in the sunlight you can really see but yeah this is like if I were to be an eyeshadow I think it would be this I'm so happy that we were able to come up with this and that it exists. But yeah, this is another eyeshadow from my collab that I'm super, super proud of. And I think it's probably the best representation of me. That's about it for this video. I hope you enjoyed watching it. Let me know if you were surprised by any of my answers. And I would love to see anyone else join in on this tag, whether you make an Instagram reel or a post or YouTube video or even just reply in the comments and let me know what your picks are. Make sure to follow Cassie if you're not already. She is awesome. And thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Bye!